real quick on the screen you see the elements lo-fi project this the newest release from all right i want y'all to check that out this album was inspired by the rudiment drums that native instruments released a few days back so this album has more of a sentimental well yeah because it's inspired by the tools that we use here on the channel and i'm excited about it so it is out right now visit the link in the description without further ado all right let's go straight to it ain't gonna take too much time people trying to find out what's going on all right we got the MK3. The MK3 is in the building. It is here. Yes, indeed. I have it in front of me. Right now, this is just to announce that it is out. It is available. I've had it for a little bit. This is new. This is created fresh, a fresh build. It's not coming from the same MK2 versions. This is something totally different. As you can see here on the screen, that there's only one screen now. There is no more dual screens, even though the dual screens was kind of cool, you know what I mean? But it's one screen. The screen is high resolution, which means it's pushing more pixels, which creates a better and smoother experience. Absolutely. And, and as you can see, there is a lot about this keyboard that was redesigned. There's buttons that was repositioned in, you know, keeping in mind people like me and you, of course, the way that we like to use these instruments. And so there was some additions and there was some takeaways. Right. All right. So I got my little camera here. It's not the best angle. Hopefully you guys won't be too upset, but just real quick. There would be more videos, obviously. So that's why you should be subscribed. But basically, this thing from left to right, and if I can reposition my camera here, pitch bin, model the wheel, they reposition the touch strip used to be at the bottom, now it's here. The whole concept behind this is so that you can do things like this, and then, you feel me? Then you got your fixed velocity here, your some semitones up and down your octave this camera's not focusing well got the shift got your arpeggiator your quantize start record stop play did i say stop twice yeah so and then this right here is play assist which is pretty much the same as before it, it's just now dedicated here you got your settings and MIDI functions. So right now this keyboard is in MIDI mode. So once you get your keyboard and you register serial numbers and whatnot, is this is what you're gonna see. And you have act you have options to as you can see, is it you could do more right out the gate. You know what I mean? Like you can you can do more before when you turn yours on, it was just stuck until you load up a something right but now we have the option to change functions in here i didn't even finish doing the button tool the button knob tool um before we go here so you got previous previous and next and then you got your eight soft buttons up here your eight hard knob buttons here and then here is your Browse. It's kind of hard to see because everything is blacked out. Here is your your plug in and your DAW. And you see how they simplified this section right here. The other thing, well, I guess they move this, the settings on this side. I I I guess it's still there, but um, everything is. I think the other button was called Instant. Or something. I think that's what it was. But it was like six buttons here that probably didn't need to be there and they took it out. They made it simple over here. And of course, you you guys could see that everything has lights, more lights. There's LED lights that still exist here. It's just tucked it's underneath there. You know, it's just tucked like that. 
and then uh, the addition, the ring around that. The, then the whole concept is that um. Uh, now my camera don't want to focus now. The concept is that the colors correspond with the instrument. All right, so hopefully we can just leave the camera right there instead of moving it because it's just kind of annoying. I know, I know. All right, so if we're looking at the screen, first of all, let me show you what's on the back here. This is what's going on in the back, all right? A couple of MIDI in and out. You got four pedal slots. You got sustain, expression, assign one and two. On the other one, we only had two. Period for your you know sustain or whatever, and then you have your host only, and then your your power button. You may not need to plug in power if your host whatever you plug in is providing your keyboard enough power, but you just may have to do that. Everything is USB C three three point oh, so no more two point oh. All right. And I believe that is also, no, I'm not going to say that. I just think that everything is just new. It was just time. <laughs> it was just time. All right. Anyway, so, of course, you have these different pages you can toggle between to get to the different parameters for your pedals, you know. And you change your, your settings accordingly, right? Then you got your touch strip. There's options for touch strip. Everything is done from the keyboard, right? That's the whole, that's the whole gist behind all of this. Okay. Then you got your wheels. Toggle between pitch bin and modeler. Make your adjustments there. And then you got this wonderful page that shows you the legal terms and whatnot. I'm scrolling there like it was going to do something different. But yeah, this is... Here's the thing. I know y'all not excited about this. This is just a bunch of words, and, you know, legal terms, but just if you just think about what it's doing, the legal terms and agreement or whatever, the licensing is in here and you scroll on the on a daggone keyboard. I mean, like what are you doing, Ella? Oh, give me a second. I'm just reading through the Terms and agreement on my keyboard. I mean, just think about the future. Instagram. We could probably go through Instagram on here. Wouldn't that be cool? All right. That's enough of that. So that's that's the keyboard itself, you know, right out of the box. Not even connect to anything. So let's connect it to something. Oh, of course you can change the brightness and change the colors oh it said oh the light guy you can turn it on and off right there okay change the, the colors it's like doing that and I promise y'all that it's doing the same thing here I just don't want to move that camera again oh, you can turn it all the way off you just you just decide you don't care for that just turn it off Turn it all off. All right. Now, in contact, it looks the same from this standpoint, but this is a new update. Of course, contact seven, that new browser look, right? But look what it's doing to the keyboard itself. And of course, this is nothing different than what we were able to do before with the MK2, you know, controlling the, the content in the plugin or the, the software with the keyboard. But things are just broken down a little bit differently in the keyboard. And the whole the whole objective here is to keep you in the workflow, you know. So now I feel like I mean, I was doing it on the MK2. I was using the screen, you know, the dual screen. I was definitely using it. But now things are, yeah, um, as y'all can see, it's touch sensitive. But um, yeah, you could find things due to, according to the brand, the product, the bank, the sub bank, the type, 
The subtype. Ain't that some character? So it's like your tagging system here. So if I wanted keys. Go ahead and load that. So let's get these MK3 on the screen here. Let's get some, some better. So that's how that goes. You can also stack instruments if you want to. Go ahead to browser. You can also say uh set your favorite uh look for stuff from your favorite user save. Let's slow that and see what happens. So that's the duet joint right here. Let's go to stacks. Also, this keyboard has polyphonic aftertouch versus the monophonic, which means that you can press a chord and do things. I don't think I have my set to do that. Let me see something. If it takes me more than two seconds. Oh, you know something else? I, oh, let me do that. I'm not gonna worry about it. Maybe these instruments are not capable of doing that polyphonic deal but yeah it's there so what i'm doing with two different instruments and you could stack up to 16 i believe that's still the number it's nothing different than what we were able to do before but just look how easy it is to toggle back and forth and look how seamless it is you know back and forth boom boom it's like get the other parameters that but I don't know why you can also remove I am no keyboardist by any means I'm just showing y'all what's going on this video is more so like a first look it's not your typical overview review I'm just kind of like going through stuff and I may even show you how to do a couple of things it's, it's a lot about it that I'm learning myself. I had it for a little bit, but I have not had a chance to play with it, play with it like I really, really wanted to. Because I didn't have it, have it that long, you know. But...
All right. So this is where play assists come in right about here. And I'm going to move myself right there. Because we're going to hit this button right here. There's nothing different here. It's the same stuff. But just observe how things are placed now. You know, it's, a, it's, it's easy to get to. All I did was hit shift and I activate that button. Right. Same for scale. Activate the scale and I'm going to click on scale. Put hold on, select that. Whoa, so wait, is that new? Look at that. It's got that sensitivity like the uh the machine. Oh, note repeat mode, duh. Makes sense. go to a new preset I think yeah Yeah, there's definitely some polyphonic type stuff. 
Let me go to another. Let me see if I can explore it better. No, that's the wrong one. Maybe I don't have it activated. I don't know. All right. So there is an edit button here. Now, this button is pretty special because when I hit that, it allows me to go into these other tabs that render me more results, which is pretty cool. I like it. So now that I hit that button, I have access to the oscillator and the filters and the envelopes and the LFOs. There we go. I can hear the tr tr tremolo uh, chorus. I gotta go to something that's dramatic. I'm observing how fast this is. This is kind of cool. Maybe because there is no samples involved. That's why it's so fast. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm working from my laptop. That's the other thing. I'm not working from my main computer because I can't get this thing to to run on my computer on the the main the work the workhorse. So I had to put it on a laptop, which has limited resources. But I really, really want to show y'all like what was going on. So. Yeah, I don't have any of these things, but it's possible. Like, if if we can look at <laughs> this is this is what it looks like in in the software. We just just load up whatever. Okay, never mind. It wants me to. Oh, check that out. So, y'all, like, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
this this is what's happening. I mean, basic, simple. You know, not not much of artwork there, but still give us the big knobs. You know, the big the big. I think that might be a good enough example how I was doing that to that one note. Now I'm gonna do it to these notes I here. Okay, that's kind of all I want to show you. It's kind of cool. All right, so you guys can see how somebody like me might be super excited about stuff like this because i'm all about continuity of course i'm all about workflow i'm all about things working together and you know easy you know just workflow how things can connect to each other and it just works this is great. This is new. So, of course, there will be more updates over time, just like it was all of the other products. You know what I mean? But I think they just hit their max with the MK2, right? So, we are now at MK3. That's what it is. I'm excited about it. Um, the things that this thing is doing right now at the first iteration, and any, you know, demo version well this is not a demo but i mean you know what i mean like beta versions you know it it, it is not fully out there like well according to the day that i'm recording this video i'm pretty sure by the time everybody see it today but yeah man i'm a pro i'm yeah i had my fingers on all you know i had my fingers on that thing downwards and upwards pause that just sounded crazy, but you get you get my point. You know what I mean? Like once people start doing their thing on here, and it it start to you know get in rotation. You know, Native Instruments watching, they listening. You know, and I feel like that that's the concept here. This is what happens, and um. It's like the MK3. I don't know if I said it before, but like the MK3. I'm a I'm a machine Mark One person. That that was my first native instrument that I've owned, and then I got the Machine Studio, and then you know after that the MK3. You know, over time they make decisions they move stuff around based on the user and how we use these products they're not just on there just making changes just because they make their moves based on feedback from people i've seen it firsthand so i think that that's pretty cool now they may not do everything that everybody wants so 
I already know there's going to be some pushback about this thing from somebody who just, you know, just can't get with it, which is cool. Everybody can voice their opinion. You know, it's all good. But I like it. I like it a lot. I can see the future and where this is what this is heading and, you know, that's how this can be useful to my workflow and what I'm trying to do. Of course, we will be doing live streams. So that's why y'all should be subscribed. And there just so happen to be affiliate links. So I want you guys to join me in the comment section. No, in the description section and hit that affiliate link. I get credit for telling y'all about it. I get a little kickback, which helps me out here on the channel. You know what I'm saying? And this is like a whole nother another step it's a whole nother lane it's a whole nother adventure because there's still some things about it that i don't know yet and the more and more i play with it you know of course but this thing is doing it you're if you're an mk2 user you're familiar with what's going on here but there's definitely a lot more. It's a lot more. You know what I mean? It's in, in terms of like the layout and whatnot, like, you know, Native Instruments, you know, nothing is done totally way left out, out here. You know what I mean? But I like it. That's just me. That's just me. I, I actually like it. This is, this is really cool. And because of the new technology here, I would imagine that there would be more, more companies, more manufacturers jumping on, on board here. This, this keyboard, you'll start to see new manufacturers that you've never seen with NKS integration. Now you would, I feel like you will start to see, oh, I didn't even show y'all what it looked like. Like if you if you was to use it inside of Studio One or something like that, I would imagine that this keyboard is smart and set up to to cater towards that doll. Now that that's dope right there. Like if you see different things according to the doll you use, like the controls and the functions and stuff like that, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. That would be crazy. Okay. So we're going to just start something new. And as y'all can see already down here, it's just giving us some feedback because I have it set up like that. You know, I have it just like, just like the original, the other keyboards. You have to go in here and you click add, right? In this case, because it's still new, there's not a MK3. Maybe it will be pretty soon. But if you don't see that, I know for me, I couldn't go for MK3 version of, of this. So I have to go under the, the complete S, the control S. You know what I mean? And select one of these options that are all, that's already available to me. And basically what I did here was make sure that this says main, this main handles the MIDI function, meaning the keyboard itself, the keyboard bed, when you press notes and create chords and whatever, that is how you able to get this to work inside your DAW. And then to control your DAW is simply going to a, some some sort of Mac Mackey controller situation and you select doll. Now if you don't see any of this, that's because you may not have it open. You got make sure that you are in you go to the preference of complete control. That's the first thing. Complete control. Make sure you go to the preference and then you open these up. I don't know if I said that. You want to make sure that your main and your DAW, I would think virtual inch, the virtual input should be open too. 
the external or whatever that is. I'm not really sure what that does yet. I just collect it anyway. Definitely do that for your in and then your out. Do the same. Um, yeah, so that's how that works. And then, then you will see it in the list. If you don't do that, you won't see that in the list. So if I go here and add just a few just a few tracks I'm feeling spontaneous so let's add 12 boom alright so see what it's doing here so now you have access to your mutes solo everything is color coded you see that that's dope I like that the buttons corresponds you know the buttons on the MK2 was just white that's it these actually change colors I told y'all everything corresponds with each, with, with, with each other in terms of like <laughs> You could definitely hit, bam! You could hit all of them at the same time. That's that's pretty dope. I like that. Okay. You could definitely. Well, this doesn't work too well, controlling two knobs at the same time. Well, actually, maybe because there's nothing on these tracks. I don't know. It's not it's not really liking. But like I say over time, by the time you guys get it, 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 it that psh, that'll be an issue solved. So yeah, so like you got a doll button here. You know what I mean? So if I was to load up If I was to load up complete control, bam. You see what I'm saying? So now you can go to the plugin. Uh probably have to be on the track itself. I thought I was on the track. Oh, you know what? I have it open here as well. So let's close out of that. Okay. It's just like the other one. You gotta dedicate the um instrument to talk to that plug that's probably what i should have did instead of closing the other one out maybe it would have, would have responded anyway but um just like anything else you know browse <laughs> you can press in and select your instrument and you're in plug in right and then you hit the dog button to go back Bam. Seem like the knobs works a whole lot better now. Let me see if I could do two. Yep. Two of them at the same time works this time. Just like that. course this is you could select I think in certain instances around this ring here it will light up the areas that are accessible by default and then other times that it just light up as soon as you you click that's what I think can also use this to adjust the volume up and down. Let 
want y'all to see. I'm trying to get them all at the same time. <laughs> Damn. See, it works. It works. The little, little favorite thing that, that mix engineers, or I know I like doing that when I'm in, in front of a mix board. Just take your finger, and go all the way across like that. <laughs> or you can just do like that. Get them all at once. It's kind of cool. see this is this is more this is continuity right here because on the mk2 i wasn't able to do that like that i had to click on instant no not instant um it was a series of things i had to click and it just didn't work out sometimes i, oh, I had to be in midi mode that's what it was i had to be in midi in order to do certain things I think you still got to be in MIDI mode in order to use, yeah, to use the cursor or the navigator, whatever you call it, locator. So what if I just want to change the color just, just because, can I do that? Oh, here we go. After touch polyphonic. That's that feature right there. So it, it, there's uh, two different modes here. So polyphonic and modified. So let's just leave it there. Curve, linear, hard, one, two, three. Goes up to three. Then soft, one, two, three. I'll just leave it at where that ever, whatever that is. Um, there is a version, MIDI 1.0 and 2.0. I don't know exactly what that means, but it is there. Could definitely, yeah, I've already explained it. All right, I think I think that's all I want to. That's all I want to show y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it was at least clear enough for you to see what's going on. And uh, remember to subscribe. And I'll see y'all on a live stream or another video or something like that. Remember to pick up the music. Crap that music. Spotify playlist. Apple Music. The elements. All right. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> if you have any questions, of course, hit me up. Again, my name is Ellup. Remember, lifestyle is governed by art. <laughs>